back waiting for him on the other side of the rock just instantly turns around and runs away but look at this savage esports i think after one they want to go for more and Hershey being a little too aggressive will be taken out by Sinister. Oh, it was a third party from Phantom Esports. So they are going to chime in into this action as well. Try and secure a few extra points for themselves. Sinister, he's still trying to take the fight. Down to around 35-40% HP. With the Molotov being tossed, I think Sinister is going to be forced to come out of the shack finally. But Anif, his priorities are pretty straightforward. Go for a revive on his own teammate. Get Hershey back on his feet first and then try and re-engage with the whole squad. Oh, Anif is trying to move forward. It looks like he's spotted on so probably maybe not right now, but that nade definitely he's cooking it up for good things. Imagine that nade bounces off. Oh, it did! But uh, the cook time was probably quite a lot. Anif, if you go in from this direction, pretty much you'll be done for. I believe Anif wants to just climb in and that's a very good decisioning by him. He understands where the player is. We'll go and switch to FPP and we'll go for the finish as well. This uh, lad and uh, slowly and slowly all, the, all these players are trying to move as Anif has been spotted down by Rage. But what a great need from Sanji out of nowhere. Great need like an RKO just coming in and taking the player down. But then again now Sanji is moving forward from around the zone as they have to get a hold of a good place inside the circle as well. Venom Legends' Rage is down right now in DRS. Well, they are falling down to the wrath of players as well as Anif takes down one, takes another one for himself and for the team. And now he needs to understand that the players are coming out in the opening spots. One more down, third one will be taken down as well. Anif goes for a 3k right now. Will he be able to take down the fourth one? That's the question. All right, he is down. Uh, uh, bad at moving inside the zone right now, but then again, what a brilliant way to take down these players. Wow. Well, let's see. I mean, it was quite a brilliant way. They did it in a lot of style as well, but I mean, Rafa, it was so close. Ocean had that been off the mark by one pixel, he would have just taken himself out as well. I mean, he was down a few seconds later, but still, at least not by his own uh, actions. Right now, Steel Shot is going with a good nade. Uh, Savage might just be over with that. Where are they? Oh, he barely survives. That grenade just bounced off, and that's how he survives. The lad has six eliminations. Would you believe it? He has six eliminations for himself. The needs are actually coming quite close to him, and now TRS they get eliminated. Now, as we're down to 19, 28 players still surviving. But the legends they're trying to move forward as well as the circle is moving on to the other side slowly and steadily. And Seal Shot, he's trying to move with the circle. He and Rage are two players surviving. And now they have to cover this open ground, but they. But I see he's there to back his teammate up. Seol, he's trying to run away, but Chief will look at him. Charge forward with the shotgun in his hands. And it's going to be quite interesting to see if they actually find the finishes. And, well, I think they might. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Might as well. Dead Ice, guys, no! Yes, the shotgun in the hand, but it's a little too late. Rifts a couple of shots and I'd see now they're gonna capitalize. How? As another player's gonna fall down, and within a blink of an eye, Dead Ice, guys, it's all down to the final man alive. The final key, the final strong strength that's still standing in the game with the DBS in the hand. He's trying to fight back, but oh, that's all he's gonna get from that. But towards the blue, we have kind of an interesting situation. The lads from High Voltage find themselves up against the players of E2K as the circle has betrayed them. Uh -oh. And they will finally be required to move out of these compounds. Seok missed out a lot of damage on Extreme but did not find a knock. And now Extreme is going to be taken down by the blue. Prabin is trying to get away. One Esports here to cause a lot of distraction. And Seok, don't look away. Just focus on the other lads just getting these exit frags right now. I think D2K, they have secured the elimination points but these two teams and the Asterix, their position is, well, a tough one. If these vehicles blow up, they don't have a lot of cover to use, but I think uh, just blowing them up early can work out. Octopus finds an opening, taking down Legend. So now it's a 2v3 and still uh, a position from where T2K can secure this win, but I think since considering they know who it is on the other side, they do not want to risk it. They just want the lads to be finished off by the blue zone. And if they keep, if they keep on waiting for that to happen, I think the Asterix will have enough breathing room to capitalize. But they are distracted right now by Shio. And well, using the opportunity, E2K have brought their numbers back. Legend is back on his piece. Look at Sundays. This is such a perfect flank. Oh my god, it's time for T2K to get their revenge. And oh, that's quite a close shot. And finally, Sundation's gonna find the opening. 
Octopus taken down. It's all down to Spike X now. The final glimmer of hope for Dax, and he should be striked down in no time. And that's what exactly happens. He said, they still have... I was just about to say they still haven't exposed themselves, but someone might be lagging quite close to them. And it is oh the my players God, Savage! Savage. Sport, just finding two crazy knocks. And very quickly as well, Hershey going for the push and... Will he get there in time? I think he will, but does he know there's a third player inside of the smoke? He's trying to secure these eliminations, and in fact, there are two of them in those right now, oh, as no. the revive has been successful in, uh, for the players of their eyes, guys. And, well, Anif is going to be there to make sure that it's just a uh, numbers advantage for Savage Esports. It's just a formality now. Frag Boy cooking, uh, cooking up the Fragment Grenade is going to run into the one from Anif. And in fact, all right, so he was outside the damage radius. And it's just the one last player from the side of Dead Eyes, guys, that's surviving. Oh my god, it's done. Last from Savage Esports are looking to finish off. It's almost done. All the players are here. It's a 1v4. And he runs into the Molotov to end it all. There's the finish. I mean, final eliminator.